everybody. We are at the Silverstone booth now. I am joined by Tony O. Oh. I worked with Tony for several years. He is with Silverstone as a marketing manager, and he's the perfect person to explain all the names for me because when I asked, hey, what do the letters and numbers in your names mean, he handed me this. Before getting to that, this coverage is brought to you by Corsair and their new T1 race gaming chair, which is a bucket style gaming seat. And that chair costs $350. You can find a link in the description below for more information. So we've got a rule book for the names, but I figured it'd probably be good to run through it on video. So uh, Tony, let's, where do we want to start? Well, let's, let's start with the air coolers. Sure. So with air coolers, we have three different names. Uh, they are the Hyligon, Nitrogon, and Argon. So we sort of have a combination wording. So uh, we found out, I guess through Wikipedia, that the liquid helium has the lowest temperature of the three elements that we chose. So that's lowest temperature is um, heli liquid helium, liquid nit nitrogen, and then liquid argon. So as you, you can tell, we give the premium line of air cooler to the heli Heligon series. So that's helium plus gone, so that's shape of helium, okay? So then the middle ground, middle series is the nitrogen the shape of nitrogen is so a nitrogon, and argon is already G-O-N, so that, that fits perfectly. So that's how we came up with the name of all three series. Okay, so nitrogon, argon, heligon, or heligon. Not here, yeah, not here at the show. Yeah, so it's, it's, they're older models, but they're the, the top of the line. They're not, they're, they're old, so they're not at the Computex right now, so. Okay, but there's more to the name than that. So. Uh, nitrogon, all right, so nitrogen NT09115X. What does that mean? Well, after, well, the NT st stands for nitrogon, obviously, so that's uh, argon's AR, uh, short, AR's short for argon, right? Uh, so for heligon, there's the HE. So the number that comes afterwards, they're just, um, you know, the first model would be named. Uh, zero 01, so the first model of NT is NT01, second model will be NT02, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's easy to understand. And what comes after the hyphen? 11.5X, that means it's a CPU cooler design for the LGA 11.5, 5, 11.5.6, 5, 11, 50, etc. Okay, so socket type then for right. Intel for the 115X. So the X is part of the socket type. What about X? So it gets more complicated as we go. NT08115XP, what does that mean? Right, so let's move. Actually, there's a better example here. We have two of them. So here we have the AR coolers. So if you can look closely, this is the uh, XS. Did you just reference your own name card? No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sort of. But you can tell from this, this is a screw type mounting system, so S for screw, push pin for P, so that's XP. It's very easy to, to see, yeah, XS and XP, okay? Okay, so the X is, is part of the Intel socket type, the P is the push pin for Intel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And S is just a screw? Screw, yeah, screw mounting, yeah. Okay, uh, all right, so we got the coolers. I think that gets us through the first half of the book. Oh, well, there's one more Tundra, but I guess we, we don't even need to talk about this. Just Tundra because it's a liquid cooler and it's a different line. Uh, what about the, the fans? So AP, FQ, FW, and then the sizes are like, obviously this wants to be 120 millimeters, but you've gone one millimeter too far. Uh, so. That's correct. Uh, so 12 stands for 120 millimeter. Uh, 9 stands for 92, 8. That's very easy to understand. The number that comes after that first set of uh, numbers is the model. Uh, so this is the third 92 millimeter fans in that series. So this is the FW121. So that's the first 120 millimeter fan of the FW series. So you can kind of tell uh, here you have FQ, for example. So this is the second model of the FQ series 120 millimeter fan. But what, is, what does FQ mean? Uh, for this one, FQ means it's a fan for quietness, so that's very easy to understand. And FW is F with PWM. This one here is FM, 
M stands for manual control, so that means you can adjust the speed on the fans manually. And AP is uh, one of our more uh, famous uh, air penetrator fans, so, that's, so that then start off with the F because that's a completely different uh, design concept. Yeah, I think I remember the air penetrators in the uh, Raven O2, right? Yeah, so those are the ones with these uh, specially designed grill that focuses the airflow into a more uh, single column so that it pushes the air farther into your case for very effective cooling. Very cool. So there's plenty more Silverstone naming to go around. Maybe next time we'll look at the cases like the Redline, the Kublai, the... Uh, Fortress, Raven, yeah. There's more Redline, yeah. Precision Primera. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're getting better with it. They're going with names that are uh, easier to pronounce. So that is all for this one. As always, you can subscribe for more. Patreon.com slash GamersNexus helps out directly. Tony, thank you for explaining that. Hey, you're welcome. And we'll see you all next time.